can an officer give a person an ultimatum to either let me search the car or I'll tow it? <laughs> I love this question because actually it just came up there a day too in another context. But this question, I'm reading from my laptop here. This question comes from an officer in California. And just real quick, my name is Anthony Bandiero, bringing another roadside chat. And um, this is really from the road. I am in Charles County, Maryland, teaching uh, K-9 case law, a brand new class that we just launched this week. I'm also going over to Bel Air, Maryland right now, uh, actually heading over there right now, it's about an hour and a half away from here, and teaching advanced search and seizure, traffic stops, and advanced criminal investigations. All right, so this officer says, look, on a routine traffic stop, an officer learns that the driver is suspended or does not have a driver's license. The officer wants to search the vehicle for drugs, guns, etc. However, the officer doesn't want to impound the vehicle pursuant to the driver's license. He can, doesn't really want to, can the officer tell the driver, hey, either give me permission to search your car or I'll impound it? How does that look if an officer asks for consent to search when denied and, and then goes ahead and impound it, to impound it? Um, I got to tell you what the answer is, and it's an easy one. Absolutely not. We are not going to do this, guys. This is coercive, right? Um, you cannot, number one, you're not supposed to be using toes to get into people's cars. Toes are supposed to be legit, on the up and up, right? Toes are community caretaking. How are you helping this person by towing their car, right? Is it blocking traffic? Are you trying to prevent vandalism? Hey, look, you wanna tow it because the guy has no license and that's the way you do business, then so be it. But if the court believes that you are using this tow as a subterfuge, as a ruse, as a lie, to get into the person's car to search for evidence when you do not have probable cause, that, my friends, is unlawful. Second, when you told the person, hey, let me search your car with your consent or I'm just gonna tow it, what do you want? That is not free and voluntary consent because the person is coerced. They don't want their car towed, okay? Also, they don't want their car, they don't want, they don't want to force the repercussion or face the repercussions on that. And moreover, it's not even a true voluntary choice because you're basically telling the guy, hey, I'm going to get into your car either way. No matter what, I'm searching under that seat. I'm searching in your trunk. I can either do it by the impound or I can do it by consent. If you give me consent, we'll go from there. That's not a free choice because you're basically telling him, no matter what, you don't have a choice. I'm getting in that car. So the one thing that maybe comes up in is, similar but is not the same is when you say hey let's say for example you have reasonable suspicion that there's contraband in a vehicle and you have a canine that you can get out there and you say something like sir can I can I search your car right and he says no and the guy says uh, the cop says all right that's fine but here's the deal I have reasonable suspicion that there's contraband in your vehicle what I'm going to do is um since I can't have your your consent, you know, I'm going to call a canine. A canine is going to take about 20 to 25 minutes to get out here. Um, it can do a free air sniff. And if it alerts, we can search your car under the motor vehicle exception. Is that what you want to do? You have a choice. Is that what you want to do? And the guy says, yes. I'm sorry. He says, no, I don't want a canine sniffing my car or I don't want to wait out here for 25 minutes. You can search my car. Is that coercion? The answer is no, that is not coercive. And here's here's the difference. Number one is you have reasonable suspicion, okay? And you can get a canine out. And number two is that telling the person what's going to happen to them is okay, as long as it's the truth. You better have reasonable suspicion, you better be able to give a canine, that's okay. People can know the truth. But also, you did not tell them and you shouldn't tell them if you have been doing this, you did not tell them, hey, no matter what, I'm searching that car. You didn't say, hey, we're gonna get the canine out here. I know the canine's gonna alert. We're gonna get into that car with the canine. Is that, if that's what you wanna do, then so be it. You didn't say that, and you should not say it. Even if you're positive, the canine will alert. You, first of all, you don't know that for sure, but just that's not really a choice then. You're just telling them that what's gonna happen inevitably, they are acquiescing to basically what's gonna happen anyway. That's how the courts look at it. In a nutshell, do not give people a choice about tow or not tow with consent, okay? Either way, that's coercion because it's not using the, the inventory properly. 
Number two, you are allowed to tell people the truth about criminal, you know, op criminal uh, avenues for re for investigation. Hey, I will go seek a search warrant. I will, if you have probable cause, I will call a canine if you have reasonable suspicion. Those are okay, and they can change your minds, but it must feel like they have a choice. Does that make sense? If I don't make sense, and I'm getting old, you know, and uh, I'm just not making sense, please tell me in the comments, and I'll clarify this, but hopefully I am, guys. Uh, I appreciate your feedback and everything like that. Uh, I do watch the comments as much as I can. Thank you so much. Keep the questions coming. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. I do appreciate that. All right? All right.